Hi guys, this is a quick update for um, Bitcoin. I know my last video um, got a lot of uh, comments. In fact, it actually ended up getting 39,000 views. Um, a lot of uh, negative comments, okay? Once again, I just want to make it clear what I do is simply to give my own opinion. I don't want you guys to follow what I'm saying. By all means, there's many other channels. There's the chart guys who do a really good job. There's the Russian lady forgot her name now, Dope Forever. Obviously Hedgin Lee, the master, he is the master and I do bow down to him. Actually, I bow down to no one, but he is the master. He is very good, highly recommend his channel. I'm only giving my own opinion on things, yeah? So there's, there's no need to be harsh or there's no need to be negative. I'm purely giving my own opinion, okay? I have said Bitcoin was going to hit 20 to 22,000 many, many moons ago, okay? That was around four or five weeks ago, and I've been saying it for months. Based on the analysis, if you must know, of my charting all the way down to here, okay? Because you can work out long term projections all the way from your wave one, okay? And it was a very brave projection, okay? And today's video, I can imagine I'm getting going to get a lot more dislikes, but that's fine. I'll wake up tomorrow morning in the UK to a lot more dislikes. But hey, I'm just giving my own opinion, and and things things change as you um, as you see more and more information. And with the futures contracts coming out tomorrow, I thought I'd get this out now because. Um, you know, it's it's just the way trading is, and you know, you can never be 100% accurate. I think most of my calls have been accurate. Okay, obviously, sometime I'm wrong, but there you go. You don't need to follow what I do. Okay, I've been saying 22 to 20,000 Bitcoin for a very late, very long time now. So, um, however, however, you can't deny the price action. So now that I've done that video, I mean, I, I didn't expect that video to get so many hits. Um, it's clear the goons have now come in, have stepped in and they're buying Bitcoin, which in itself is a negative um, sort of thing for Bitcoin in itself. The fact that I wake up the next morning with another a 200% increase in my subscribers, that it in itself is negative. The fact that I'm seeing headlines for Bitcoin on every news channel, um, that's also negative, okay? But just to give my updated count, okay? Once again, you know, if you don't want to watch these videos, just dislike please go away. I don't need you guys, all right? I'm trying to make a channel here to help people trade. And I not only I don't only do Bitcoin, I do trade. Talk about gold, silver, US dollar. There's a whole load of other stuff that I do. So if you guys are interested, please just piss off, all right? Anyway, let's get to the charts, okay? So this is wave one. Now, I am reconsidering this as a wave three. I never thought it was a wave three. Um, in my initial count, if you look back at my old videos, but this could very well just be an extended wave three, off an extended wave five. So in which case, you got a one, you got a one, two, three, four. So five is going to top out here. And I think what we're doing now is making the four of the three. Okay, I still stand by this twenty-two thousand, twenty thousand correction. That is going to be a ceiling, and that's going to be the top of your way three because the mathematical resistance at this point is quite high. So if that's your three, obviously it's going to go higher. Um, that's quite clear, isn't it? So if that's your three, um, and by crash, you know, sorry to use these clickbait titles. You know, if you guys aren't, if you guys don't like it, then hey, do one. I don't really care. Um, so if that's going to correct to a wave four, then obviously your wave five is going to be higher. Okay. So I'm not contradicting myself when I said yesterday. Please don't have a go at me. Don't get your fucking panties in the twist. Um, I'm just giving my own opinion, okay? This doesn't look like a way four. I, if this was a way four, I would have expected it to come a lot, lot lower, but it looks as though it's finding some support here. And certainly if you break this, if you break this wave down on the 15 minute, I'm actually going to stop doing these videos, I think. I'm actually going to stop doing these, these videos. So if you if you um break this down it's clearly made you know some sort of abc correction okay whether it turns into another abc and goes lower i'm not sure but it looks as though it's finding support and now bitcoin's on its way up so you know that can't be a way forward then can it because that just can't be a way forward so that's why I'm, 
revising my account I did expect this correction to come in a little bit more and then that would be the top way five but it's not going to happen so um, this can't be a way four this just can't be a way four that's not retraced enough it needs to come back to 11,000 if it does that in the next 24 hours maybe but if not that's not a way four in which case wave three is going to be at the top that I've mentioned on my video somewhere between well, I've got it a little bit higher here, 22,000, somewhere between 22 and 24,000. Um, let's call it 22. Then it's going to come down in a correction. Now, how how far that correction goes, I'm not sure. Okay, because the wave five top um, is very much dependent on um, how deep this correction goes. But actually, I'm not going to give you my top because I'm I know I'm going to get a lot of abuse. And frankly, if I do, um, I'm going to stop doing these videos because it's just you know it's not nice to hear like stupid dicks making comments um, and I'm just gonna stop doing these especially Bitcoin videos like I'm just not gonna do them so anyway that's that's my count I just thought I'd get this up there before the contracts come in tomorrow I'm expecting a lot of volatility to come in it's obviously the big boys are hoarding this and they're getting ready for the big short at 24,000 they're gonna hoard it all the way back down to well I mean you know, independent. So let's let's say it hits the upper range of my target. Let's say it hits there. Okay. If it hits the top range of my target, let's say your wave four goes to sixteen point six thousand. Okay. Let's say assuming a a healthy zero point three eight correction. Okay. But as we know, wave four could be anywhere from thirty eight to fifty two. So let's just pop that there. So let's just so that's that's one target. Assuming it hits what's up in there. Assuming it hits there, okay. The second target would be a little bit lower. It would be from 38.2 to here, okay. So depending on which part of this yellow bar wave three gets to, your wave four is going to be here, and then obviously we need a wave five, and then that wave five will then be it. I'm not even going to bother projecting this because I'm going to get a lot of dicks saying, "Oh, you're contradicting yourself," and blah blah blah. All I knew was. I have no interest in Bitcoin after this £22,000 target. That's just, I have no interest um, because I've been saying that for weeks and weeks and weeks. So anyway, I'm not even going to bother with this. If I get a lot of abuse, I'm going to stop doing these videos because a lot of you guys don't know shit and you're just making stupid, negative, unhelpful comments. It's very clear that the altcoins are what you want to be in. It's very clear as Bitcoin corrects the altcoins like Digibyte, XVG, BitShares, they're all going to go up, aren't they? So, let's be honest, because they're going to be inverse to the to the um, to Bitcoin. So, um, you know, all of these other other ones are just they're all setting up. They're all setting up for a big move. So, um, the whole point of yesterday's video wasn't to get that many. I was quite surprised by how many how many views I got. I think clearly Jim Jim Cramer has. Um, pissed a lot of people off in good old America he's uh, obviously a lot of you guys have lost money with his comments so um, well there you go that's good old Jim for you so anyway that's my updated count okay if you guys think I'm copying you guys don't like it then that's fine I'll read the comments tomorrow I'm sure I'm sure I'll get a lot of abuse but um, I think that'll be it from my perspective doing these Bitcoin videos anyway so um, good luck to you guys if you guys don't like what I do then don't give a shit so anyway that's what I think is gonna happen there's definitely gonna be some resistance at this level up here so the big boys are now um, gonna be where are they so because that's how a futures contract works right so you wanna get the big boys hold all the bitcoins here make it go vertical tomorrow they're gonna well t I mean that's not gonna be at 24,000 they're gonna start placing their shorts here and then they're gonna dump their Bitcoin and they're gonna make money on the shorts um, by dumping these Bitcoin but initially initially it's gonna go a little bit higher but just bear in mind tomorrow is CBOE okay so if they're Newcastle CME they are Real Madrid okay so the big boys are coming out on the 18th okay so tomorrow's futures contracts aren't even the big boys really. Once the CME gets involved, 
Um, these guys run the Nymex, they run the Comex. Pretty much everything that you feel, touch, smell um, is run by these guys. So, um, and as we all know, it's all just uh, manipulation, let's be honest. But if you know how it works, it makes a lot of money. So, it looks as though initially the CBOE is just going to probably run it up. Because I can't see it hitting 22,000 before the CBOE get involved. They're going to run it up, give everyone the impression that, oh, futures contracts are a good thing and price discovery is blah, blah, blah. It's all great. Um, but bear in mind, in, in, in the next 12 hours, that's it for, for Bitcoin being an, uh, being an unregulated market. The minute the futures contracts get in, it's now regulated and the big boys get involved. Then it's going to hit this, this level on the 18th. Everyone's going to be having a nice little jolly old Christmas. And then the big boys are coming. Forget about the CBOE, they are basically one tenth of the size of the CME. Big boys are going to run it down. I'm not even going to predict this because I know I'm going to get a lot of abuse, so I'm not even going to predict it. For those who want the end point, the mathematical end point, because I'm not convinced. What I thought was going to happen was this either that was a way for or this was a way for, but this doesn't seem to have gone on long enough, and in which case 22,000 would have been a way five. Um, I knew there was some resistance coming in here. I didn't, uh, didn't know whether it was a wave three or a wave four. Um, we all know wave four is the big selling wave, and then we're going to get ready for this final push. Now that I'm more convinced it's a wave three, wave five is going to go higher, in which case, I mean, if you guys want this target, I'll give it to you, but... Um, I'm just going to keep it here for now because uh, let me just get this away. If you guys want that target, I can give it to you. But um, let's see, um, l let's see what kind of comments I get, and then we'll take things from there. But um, yeah, let's just leave this little wave five hanging about here. But obviously, wave five will be higher. So yeah, good luck. You know, if you guys are in Bitcoin, good luck. I hope I didn't offend anyone with that last video. I was simply giving my own opinion from a risk reward perspective, a trading perspective. Um, all the reward is on the downside here it's not on the upside and I think the altcoins are the better trade um, the altcoins are the better trade and and once Bitcoin corrects um, the altcoins are gonna are gonna have quite a nice day quite a nice run because they're all in wave fives um, Bitcoin's been in a wave five ever since well here um, most of the altcoins from what I've seen have done their wave one done done their two they've done their three they've done their four all the altcoins are getting ready for a wave five move um, well, Bitcoin is is well into the wave five. It's as we're saying here, it's finished either wave three or wave five. Um, could be wrong. The alternate count is that it just comes down, and and I suppose I'm proved right in ditto marks. But whatever. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, it's going to be interesting. But the CBOE isn't isn't on the same league as the CME. If if these guys are Newcastle United, bless them. Um, no offense. The CME is uh, basically Real Madrid, and um, that sounds a lot more plausible to pump it up, give everyone the impression that futures are a good thing. Everyone's having a nice Christmas on the 18th, and then bang, you're going to see a big drop. You're going to see a 38.2% drop. I can't predict that where that's going to go. It could go as low as 12,000, 15,000, 16,000, somewhere there, and then that'll be a good time. Well, actually, I'm not going to give any more uh, uh, recommendations on Bitcoin after after that last video. So um, that's what's going to happen. Then I think it's going to go up, okay? Five is going to be somewhere here, but I'm just going to leave five down here. But obviously, it's going to be somewhere here. I'm not even going to give you that target yet. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd get this video out here now. Okay, I don't mind admitting when. Well, I wasn't wrong really, because I did say there will be some resistance here, which it does look like. I just miscounted the four. Um, it looks as though this is all the way three. So anyway, let's see what kind of re responses I get. Um, Let's see what responses I get. This is trading. You can never be 100%. You've got to use clickbait titles, unfortunately, so to do these sort of things. So um, let's see what response I get. But it looks as though if we're still in a wave three, which is now looking likely, I, I did think this sell-off today. I've been watching this for the last six hours, and it doesn't look like a wave four. It doesn't look like it's going to go all the way down to 10,000, um, in which case the only other version is a three, a four, and then five. And that target I'm not going to give. I'm not even going to bother giving that target, but as I said, all the reward is in the upside. Tomorrow morning is going to be interesting. Good luck.